Okay, I'm excited. Let me get myself together. I just came back from the door. Well, taking a shower and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I got my, uh, I made my smoothie there. And when I finish that, I got to, going to make some avocado toast. But I'm going to put some, uh, some, it's got chai chocolate on on top of the avocado, you know, like that. But that's later on. Look. But let me just get myself ready for you. Look, look, let me explain. Let me explain what's going on. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Okay, first of all, you know, day of COVID. They say about the blood clot, so I'm taking my little, uh, what is this, aspirin, a little aspirin that, 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 that's supposed to, you know, thin your blood. The VA sent it. Socialized medicine. You know, better care for all. So, I got, oh, I forgot making my thing. I forgot to add my, uh, this is buffered vitamin C, which has magnesium in it. But I also put some moringa powder in it. Oh, not some, a lot of moringa powder. The end of the thing now. But use that. So what I got to do, my little smoothie, my smoothie has a, did mango, did mango, um, uh, oh, fig, one fig. Only one fig, you know, raw fig. I like to eat fig straight, but yeah, put a raw four in there. Uh, it's like chunks of mango. They got the frozen one they got, right? Uh, so I'm gonna put C. No, you don't see. It don't matter. This is vitamin C buffer thing with with mango uh, with the uh, moringa. Hey, gotta do your moringa. Believe me. Well, don't believe me, but you know, you shouldn't believe anything I say. Okay, get that, get that together, right? Put it in a mason jar there, because I already made my smoothie. What else did I put in? Oh, you know what I put in this too? I had the end of my, uh, oh, here it is. Just a second as I shake this up. That's why you like mason jars. The chlorophyll, you know, this is like a, a body deodorant, in, internal deodorant, you know what I mean? Like, remember you're supposed to take your, um, uh, what you call it, your, what do you call it? I got it over there. The, um, the, what the heck? I know what it is. Let's see. Apple cider vinegar tablets. Once a day. I do that in the afternoon. But anyway, so this is an in, internal, you know, body deodorant, if you want to put it that way. So I put that in there too. Then I just had, oh, you know what I use? Oh, here, I got it right here. Because I'm trying to get rid of this juice. I got this juice a while ago. It's mango nectar, but it's, it's, it says, uh, uh, Oh, what's the ingredients here? What's the ingredients? Where's my glasses at? Let me read this there, boy. The ingredients here. Also got that from the VA. Socialized medicine. Uh, filtered water sufficient to reconstitute. Okay. Organic pear juice concentrate. See, that's the problem. Organic mango puree. Organic apple juice concentrate, organic peach puree, organic white grape juice, organic pineapple juice, and organic lime juice. Concentrates, ascorbic acid. So I don't know, it's, it's like a mix of, red, well, it's a mix. So I put that in there as my, as my liquid, like that. So now I'm ready to taste it. Oh, let me put my old man hat on though. It's for a reason. I got some old man knowledge, oh, basically. Also, let me keep my other socialized medicine thing here. Socialized medicine. <laughs> got the old man, I'm putting old man glasses on because I got knowledge. Well, I got conjecture. <laughs> okay, oh, my glass. My water glass. See, I have always have a, I always cover my water right now. See, at the end of it, because I drank a lot already. Empty that water glass. I got my ready. See how this tastes. It's not really a smoothie, unless it is a blendy. Save some for later. Yeah, save some for later. Because when I have my avocado toast afterwards, I don't like to drink while I'm eating. Here we go. Bottoms up. Here we go. Ooh. The mint. Oh, this has this has a little minty thing in there too. Okay, nice, nice. Mmm, 
Nice, nice. Okay, listen. Here's the thing. Here's why I'm excited. So I was listening to Yvette last night. Well, I was like before that. At the end, this brother got on because he was talking about the uh, Beyonce did something, blah, blah, blah. but but and I knew this. Anyway, so the brother got on and said, "Hey, look, you don't understand." No, you know, he didn't say it like that. I'm just saying like that. What he said was, "Look, here's the thing. Remember, it's Beyonce and uh, and uh, and Jay Z. They're a team. Whether you, they're a business team. You know, forget the, the optics. You know, they're a business team, right? And now that Jay Z is running his course, you know, old rapper, whatever, you know, like that. Beyonce is the one can 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 you know." Da, 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 da. Let me just say one thing before we go. When I first came to Cape Town, 2003, right? Well, right now I'm in Missouri, but when I first came to Cape Town, I live in Cape Town. The COVID, I can't get back to, well, I'm banned, but US, US, US passport, you know, they're banned from every place. Anyway, I can't get back right now. Anyway, the point is, all you heard, they, they kept on talking about, you heard about Kanye, you heard about Jay-Z and Beyonce, of course, though. So, Lionel Richie's big down there, so Lionel Richie. Oh, also R. Kelly's big down there too. In fact, when they had the World Cup, I think R. Kelly. Was, you know, anyway, they tried to cancel him there, but it didn't work. Okay, so just all this time they kept us keep on hearing about Jay Z and Beyonce. Jay Z and Beyonce. That's all you hear to, to this day. Jay Z and Beyonce, along with Oprah. Blah blah blah. blah. That's what they do. Okay, fine. So they're in the constant. Now here's the thing. So I'm trying to say that Jay Z and Beyonce are big in at least South Africa. They're big all over Africa. Well, they used to be. Okay. So what what but the his brother's conjecture was, but what well, his brother's theory was that no, hey, look what JC is putting out there because what he's doing, he's trying to get all those rappers, or whatever, have to sign with his the, like up and coming uh, uh, African rappers to sign with his la label because you know Africa is the place, Africa, Africa. See how big Africa is, you know. Oh, by the way, let me just do a little correction for 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 uh, for Yvette. Africa has 55, 55 countries, 55, okay, not 54, okay, it's been your perception for that, man, okay, and do you, you do have to realize that the United States, Canada, uh, Europe can all fit into Africa, it's a huge landmass, we can't just have a ding, 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 ding. okay, anyway, just let's forget that stuff, let, let me go back to the point, right? So what the brother was saying, so that's the plot, you know, we use that celebrity to sign these young people to his label, that there's more income. Da, da. So that whole thing, that kiss to Africa, whatever have you, that's what that's about. Forget this imagery and Beyonce holding the, the, the baby and the lions and the ding, ding, ding. And, and remember, the Lion King is a huge thing. It's a huge thing. I saw, I saw the first one, the second I didn't like the second one too much. The first one was really better. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm a film person. Okay, so that's one thing. Let's get rid of that. The more important thing that the brother was saying, was it him? I think it was him, was saying that, you know, the vice presidential pick, vice presidential pick, and I did a couple of videos, maybe I'll do a link, right, about this. Susan Rice. Susan Rice. Come on, Susan Rice. you got to understand. This thing has been in the works. Yeah, look, everybody's talking about they playing, you play chess instead of checkers. How about three-dimensional chess? Think about this. First of all, Susan Rice has a pedigree. You have to look up her phone. Well, I did. I'll do. I'll do the link. Me and me, me and my research guy. You know, my, my internet research guy. We did this whole thing up. We did two things on Susan Rice. Well, I do the second one because you know about her pedigree. She has the pedigree, right? She's already said that she's a DOS, right? That's what one of the brothers. Did the brother put up like that. That that. Of course, he did her normal thing. Oh, that's the one with with the son that did the poo poo the son. You know that because he's a Republican. Because when Kavanaugh is being thing, he's he's like the head of the young Republicans on Sanford campus. By the way, she went to Sanford. The whole don't think that, that doesn't matter. So you know he was there, and some some somebody uh, some some woman some Latin. Well, at least she has a Latina surname. Woman accosted him. You know, pushed him in the chest. It was it pushed him in the chest, right? And there was a whole big thing, I guess, because he was him. And they and they wanted to know if he was going to, well, think something happened. Anyway, they wanted to know if she was going to, you know, press. But anyway, he didn't press charges, right? And he said, no, he just withdrew. I think automatically something happened. Anyway, he, he, he didn't press charges, right? So here we got. So he's, he's a young Republican, head of the young Republicans, right? And for when a woman did something to him, right, what did he do? He forgave her, right? Oh, the Republicans, oh, they got that. Now let's go. Let's go back to Susan. Let's go back to Susan. Let's go back to Susan. She served in the, well, she, she, the whole Clinton, Marilyn, Albright thing. She's hooked up in that. The Brookings Institute, she hooked up with that. I can tell you. No. She went, look, not only did she go to Sanford. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on to your hats. Ready for this? A doctorate. 
guys from Oxford. I said Oxford. <laughs> gosh. Oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. And then she served in the, I don't know what she would do with W, but she served under the, under, under, under Obama, right? The golden child, you know, well, they, whatever, right? So, so, I'm sorry. I just got to say, this is unbelievable. They don't, they don't, it's not even a bamboozle. It's, it's three-dimensional chess. Don't you understand? They got it. You know, this whole Kamala, whoever, those are all rouges, man. She's got all the bona fides. And plus, to, to knock it off of her maternal grandparents, this grandfather, yeah, maternal grandparents are immigrants from from um, from um, Jamaica, right? Then no matter her, her, yeah, her, her mother was born in Maine, and she was the head, you, I'll put that in. But don't you say so? She can pull the immigrant card. She can pull the ADUS card, which she already said she's ADUS. She, she, she literally said American descendant of slavery. She can pull a female card. She she had this whole thing about the the the, the what do you call that? The, the uh, um, what do you call them? People disabled. Hey, I'm a vet. I'm in a VA system, so I'm disabled like that, like that. She can pull. I think her daddy went to in, India. Wait a second. Let me, let me get my India. <laughs> India hat on. This is made for me in India. So this comes from India like that. Right, she got that. I think her, no, that's she, what was it, her father? No, her father went to India. That's right. Her father all, hooked up all in. Put my back there. Sorry about that. Her father got, he's, he's part of the, um, the, 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 she served it with the, with, what's that? The, the financial thing, you know, the, the Fed, the Fed. He was like the second black guy in the bed. Oh Lord! Oh gosh, I can't believe this. this her mother, her mother did the whole Pell Grant thing. She was a mother is called a mother Pell Grant, right? Uh, uh, what what else? Oh, her father, her father. Oh, I forgot this. Wait a second. Hold on, good thing. My other hat. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You got the American flag there. There, there, there. American flag right there. Air Force. Her father was a Tuskegee Airman. Ah! <laughs> and he inter look, this all this stuff and what they think, right? Uh, 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 what else do I got here? What other had? Oh, 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 I forgot. Let's not let us not forget this. Hold on a second. Hold on, old man. Go stay over there. Wait, wait. Put mother hat on. But this made for me, made for me for my wife. It's African material, right? This is a whole Nigerian style, but she just made it for that. She did something in Africa. They get the African thing happening there. Okay, let me take that off. Let me go back to this. I actually like my old man. This is a this is an old man hat, which means that you know I've been around for a while, right? I know we jumped on the on the, the, the flag there, like, but but you have to understand, you know, my uh my body, when my body's passed through, or it, you know, it was a uh, 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 they call it uh, red, black, green, RBG, whatever it is, you know, like that, you know, so like that. But plus, of my body to Pan African, but my head, American, my head is ADOS. I wrap myself in the American flag because I know what that means. But that's just a reminder where I come from because I'm all those things like that. A lot of people all those things. So you can keep on embracing that stuff, but as long as your head is ADOS, because this is a thinking game. This is four dimensional, three dimensional, whatever dimensional chess that they're doing. So what I'm trying to say is, you have to prepare yourself. For what is 16 years? 16 years that the neocons are going to do their thing. And neocon basically means they got the financial thing not in your interest and they got the military thing not in your interest. You understand? The only thing that's, the only thing that's happening right now, I'm not going to discuss what's happening in Africa, the young people that have But my point is, they got the 16 years wrapped up. And they get Biden there to get the, to, to get all the donors. Da, 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 da. Why else would why else would Bernie stand down? Think about it. Why else would all these people capitulate? It's not no Nancy Pelosi to make them. That's no Chuck Schumer making them do that. Why else would, would would Obama keep on manipulating behind the scenes? Right. I'm telling you, it's not the fixes in the the the, the look. Sorry, let me go back to my hat. No. One thing I learned about the military, right, is that 
There's contingency plans for everything that happens because in a war, everything goes wrong. So you got to have contingency plans. You see? So now we're, we're, ADOS has that advantage, right? Because if you think of us as, 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 a, as the troops in a war, because of our, no, let me take back off. Sorry about that. If you think about it, right? You know, ADOS, right? Because we have our little nodes and we go, we have a bunch, every node is researching. I call them nodes. You know, the, the chap, I mean, not even chapters, whatever we are, ADOS, you know, Baltimore, da 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 da, Chicago. Da. Do we have ADOS in St. Louis? <gasps> St. Louis, you know, what just happened to Corey, um, this, this woman, uh, 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 but this sister, right? She knocked off fifty years of these uh, of this of this black guy, whatever it is. Uh, I think his name is uh, Cor- Cora Bush. Anyway, she she did. She came from the Black Lives Movement things. I all, look, forget that. Stuff. Let me go back to the thing. So all I'm saying is because we have our little nodes all over, you know, we get to San Francisco, the, the Southern California, the New York, the, the Atlanta, the Florida, all that stuff. Because we have all that. <laughs> We have an advantage. What we have to do is press that advantage. Got to do that research. Plan for the 16 years, okay? The 16 years. Now that you know that Biden's definitely going to win, then we don't really have to do up up, you know, up top. We can write in ADOS because you know she's going to be there. Susan Rice is going to be there. So you don't have to, okay, if you're in a, if you're in a, what, a swing state, okay, do, do, do what you need. But you're in a state that you know is definitely going to go for the Democrat party, just write in ADOS up top and every other place you can do it. It's a strategy. Come on, we can do it. This is amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. I, I being me, T, from the Patterson State in the Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect, strongly suspect, 